And I think these are so cute. Look at the little springy, y'all. That is how we are looking. It goes all the way out, but it's super springy. Do you guys see that? That's what spoolies are gonna do to your hair. They're gonna make them very springy curls. Hey, y'all. So it is that time again for me to style my hair, and I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I went in my drawer and looked for a few different hair tools, and guess what I found? Y'all, I am whipping out my spoolies. I have not used these in over a year, so if you want to learn exactly how to install and take down spoolies, then keep watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Aaliyah and I do natural hair care content. Today we're going to be doing spoolies and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get this hairstyle done. But first, I need to go ahead and get my hair ready, friend. We looking a little like how we looking right now. So what I want to do, I washed my hair two days ago, so we are fresh out the shower. I just put some, I guess, dookie braids, whatever you want to call these, straight backs, cornrows, dookie braids in my hair and um, we're going to take it down. So I'm going to go ahead and take these down. We'll prep our hair and then I'm gonna show you guys how I like to install my spoolies from start to finish let me know if you guys have used spoolies in the past and was unsuccessful and that's why you may have clicked on this video or if you've never even seen or tried spoolies before and you're just curious about trying a new hairstyle comment below what led you to click on this video all right y'all so both of my braids are taken out my hair is still damp but that's okay a lot of people always ask me when I'm using spoolies should I do this on wet hair Hair or blown out hair or dry hair my best recommendation is to do this on dry hair I would actually prefer blown out but like I said my hair is a little bit damp it's been in these twists and it's fine you just want your hair relatively on the drier side when you're doing when you're doing spoolies because they do take a while to dry friend these are silicone even though they, they have these holes in here if you guys can see that's gonna help the drying process and the airflow kind of get into the hair so it can dry however it does still take a while because these are rubber and silicone so they kind of hold in that moisture a little bit more than a traditional rod or roller set would so that's why I would recommend starting on dry hair so you can cut back on the drying time but without further ado let me show you guys what tools I'm using I'm also going to go ahead and prep my hair to be styled because I do not want this middle part right here and we're going to get the show on the road so let's go so the first thing I'm going to do is just take a um, comb this is from Bond Bar I actually got this from Sally Beauty they sent this to me you can take any comb that you want and the first thing that you want to decide is where you're going to part your hair I actually don't really want to part so what I'm going to do is break down the front into like a U part kind of sort of so let me show you guys the difference between my traditional clips and my curl keeper clips this is the traditional clip as you guys can see pretty open wide there you go and here is the curl keeper look at the difference you see how it kind of just tackles <laughs> that that is it's huge it has a wide grip it's super sturdy they're actually a little bit more lightweight than these but they're durable so i really like them i will have these linked below if you guys are in the market for clips because these hold a lot more hair okay so now that i have all of my curl keeper clips and you can see i have three sections in the front there's one section in the back over here and we're actually going to get started with this section first i'm going to show you exactly how to install spoolies the correct way if you guys have ever tried spoolies before you probably have seen it's an uphill battle but I've been doing spoolies for years and I have a few tips tricks and techniques that will work in your favor so keep watching <laughs> okay let me show you guys the hair products that you're going to need to complete this style the first thing I'm going to use is my moisturizing cocoa water from Kiara care we're just going to rehydrate the section I don't want to get it too damp because again we want it relatively dry so it can dry a little bit faster I also have some new products here that were sent to me this is from Lola's canvas this is her curl defining custard and we'll also be using the shine and define mousse as well so before we break this section down even farther what I'm gonna do is take my moisturizing cocoa water and just give it a good spray this is one of my favorite sprays I love when brands you like incorporate sprays because that's really what we need as naturals just something to rehydrate the hair but nothing too crazy so if you've never seen spoolies before this is how they come they come in a size large and also a size small as well you can see that there's holes in the spoolie so it's kind of vented so the airflow can 
get in there and help dry it. These are a silicone or rubber material, so they do hold in moisture quite well. That's why I suggest starting on relatively dry hair. If you start on soak and wet hair fresh out the shower, you're going to be sitting in these spoolies well over 24 hours waiting for them to dry. We ain't got time for that, friends, so start on blown out hair or relatively dry hair like I am here. I like to use the bigger spoolies in the back of my hair or in the thicker sections of my hair, and then the smaller ones usually go around the perimeter or the smaller sections of my hair. So also, you guys can see that I have like so many. There, this bag is full. I probably have like, I don't even know, like 80 in here. I think I ordered spoolies a few times over the years. And I've just kept them in these bags. So I have a lot on deck. You guys want to make sure that you have more than enough to complete this hairstyle. I don't like putting a lot of hair into the spoolie. The less hair that you have into the spoolie, it's going to dry quicker as well. So, and I'll show you guys what that means as we go along. But let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do before I break down my section is I'm going to add the curl defining custard from Lilith's canvas. I'm so excited. This is a black owned business. She sent these products to me months ago and I'm just getting around to using them friend, but it's okay. All right, so we're not going to use too much. This is how the product looks and just something. Just this is a curling custard. So we just want to give it a little bit something, a little bit something, y'all. We're going to put a little bit something on the hair, honey. And I'm putting it all over that section. Oh, it actually smells really good. I'm getting like hints of shea butter. Hopefully my hair likes these products because I don't know if it is or if it ain't. I have no idea. All I'm going to do is grab my parting finger or my index finger and I'm going to section off our first section of hair and then I'm going to take the rest of this and twist it up and out the way so we are laser focused on this back section which will probably hold about two spoolies. Bada boom bada bam we look at us we rolling friend we are ready to go ahead and style already. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and grab the shine and define mousse. I'm just going to start off with like oh hold on I think I need to take that remember this is like brand new y'all so bear with me. I just took the little holder piece off bear with me as I I'm trying to like pump it into my hand okay I like how it pumps that's pretty cool it's just like a, a traditional mousse smells really good this section came out I'll get it in one section one second I'm just gonna mix that in my hands and go ahead and work that into my hair I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more because I actually don't like how it's applying to my hair a little bit more I didn't really like how that applied to my hair so let's go ahead and try that again yeah, y'all, I, you know when you, like, try a product and you just don't like it? I, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm going to be extremely honest. Some things work for me and some things just don't. This is my first time testing out this product, and I should go ahead and just continue to use it and see how it works, but I know my hair, and when it reacts like that, it's not, okay, yeah, we're not going to use these. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break out the og i'm going back in sorry y'all but i can literally tell that it's not taking well to my hair and it's nothing against the brand or the owner or anything some products work for me and some products don't this did not capture the moisture how i wanted it to so what i'm going to do is go in with my holy grail this is the do most depth texture foam y'all have seen it all over the world now she's popular hopefully i have enough in here if not, I have the crazy sexy curl over there. Let's see if we can do something with this instead. Because that first, uh, yeah, y'all see how like my hair is sculpted? Y'all see that? It just sculpted. Y'all see that? Like you see how it just locked in the moisture? It didn't do that the first time with the mousse. And it's nothing against the brand of that mousse. Just some products work for me and some products don't. You see how I applied the mousse and it's kind of sucked. It's even defining my curls. Like that's what I wanna see when I apply a mousse, not frizziness. So we're just not gonna use that, it's okay. So this is my Tangle Teaser. This is like my go-to detangling brush. I just like it because it's open. It's super easy to clean. I always clean my brushes right when I'm done using them after I'm done styling my hair. And my hair is relatively detangled, so it wasn't really hard to work that product through at all. All right, y'all, so now we are ready to go ahead and style. What I'm gonna do is break this down into two sections one in the front and one in the back the one in the front i'm just going to kind of lift it up and out the way so how i like to style my hair is i make sure that my hair is straight out as much as possible you can see that there's little stragglers that's just not going to get all the way down so as we work in our way up with the spoolie we'll add in the hair that we can't right now so all i'm going to do is take the base and wrap it around my hair 
And then I'm gonna to continue to wrap the spoolie around my hair, just like that. And then once I am able to get the rest of the hair in there, like I said, as you work the spoolie up your hair, just continue to lock it in. Now, once I'm all the way at the top and I can't move anymore, I'm just gonna flap it over just like that so hopefully you guys were able to see that pretty cool right <laughs> let's go ahead and do that one more time i am going to go ahead and add just a teeny bit more mousse to this section all right so let's go ahead and grab another spoolie and we're going to try this again just making sure everything is straight out just like that i'm going to take my spoolie i'm going to wrap my ends around the spoolie just like that i kind of like to put my thumb in there you can see there's a hole and then I can just work my hands and twist it up. And I'm twisting right on top of my hair. That's another reason why it kind of takes so long to dry. When you have like flexi rods or perm rods, you're not wrapping on top of your hair like a spoolie. It's kind of more like a long spiral. But with a spoolie, you're just going around and around and around on the exact same spot. That's why it does take a little bit longer to dry. But once I get to the top just like that, I want to flap it over just like that cool beans right now as we go throughout this um styling process these are going to start to become loose i'm telling you i got some tips for you guys do not worry about them if they start to come loose we'll fix them all at the end and then we're actually going to put on a net your net comes with your spoolie so you don't have to worry about it mine is so old y'all it has holes in it and everything but you guys will see that at the end of the video once all the spoolies are installed so again if your spoolies are coming loose while you're styling your hair do not worry about them let them come loose and then we'll fix them all at the end together all right let's keep going <laughs> i want to put the mousse on each individual section i think we can do two sections it'll be a little bit thick but we're going to do two sections on this hair so here you go so you guys can see that's a little bit frizzy but soon as this mousse gets on this hair, y'all, you guys can see, and I can tell it's already starting to slip. If you guys can see, there's like a little gap there. Don't worry about it, friend. I'm telling you, I've made the mistake of having to keep going back and trying to fix them. We're going to fix them all at the end together. All right, so I just went ahead and detangled my hair. And as you guys can see, this mousse does a really, really good job at getting my curls defined. And I really love the do. She is a licensed cosmetologist. She's a brand owner. She's a black woman. So if you guys have not checked out the do, you've probably been living under a rock. Okay, so I'm going to grab my next spoolie. Again, we're, we're using all of the large spoolies right now. And then once we get towards the top or the thinner sections of my hair then I will use the smaller ones but making sure everything is straight out I'm gonna take the spoolie and just start to wrap my ends around it I'm gonna take my thumb and put it inside the spoolie just like that and I'm going to start to wrap my hair <laughs> just like that and you can see we're going up 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 that's why I say don't use too thick of sections because we're wrapping on top of the curls and then once we're in the back we're just gonna flap it on over friend just like that I really could break this down into two if I wanted to. We'll see how we feel after we apply the mousse, if we need to break it down into a farther section or not. The back of my hair is pretty thick, so I do have to break it down relatively in smaller sections, which is totally fine because I have a lot of spoolies, so I don't mind breaking my hair down as small as I need to go. Spoolies come in like a set of 40. I would grab two sets just to be on the safe side, you know, just to be on the safe side. So let me go ahead and you guys see how good it just sucks my hair in frame, working that in. All right, so let's go ahead. This section is going to be a little bit thick, but we're fine. I already have it detangled. The mousse is applied. Now we're ready to put it straight out just like so. We're going to take that and start to wrap our ends on just like that. And then I'm putting my thumb kind of in here. It just helps me roll. And whatever makes you whatever helps you feel comfortable if you don't want to do that if you want to roll another way that's fine it's just a lot more easy for me to have full control over the spoolie if i'm like that so i go all the way up until i can't anymore and i just flap the top over the bottom 
and it kind of locks everything into place just like that these curls are gonna be really cute they're gonna be very spirally curls are uh, very springy curls and you're gonna they're gonna be kind of a uh, smaller like they're not going to touch my shoulder that's like the goal and then as the days prolong the curls are just going to start to drop and get more beautiful so that's why i love spoolies and any rod set in particular they're kind of scrunched up at the top in the beginning but then the days prolong and the hair just gets bigger and bigger hey y'all so we are all done with the back here's how it looks it did take me about 20 minutes to get through the back section, but that's because I was explaining it to you guys. If I was off camera and just rapid fire through this style, it probably would have only took about 15, but it doesn't take long. Go ahead and take down your first clip in the front. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the smaller spoolies, most likely. I just need to see how thick these sections are. So I'm just taking my index finger again, and I'm going to take my first section of hair, which is right here, and everything else is going to get moved on out the way. All right, so I'm just going to take my index finger and part a front and back section. This front section will be a small spoolie. The back section will be a big spoolie, just because I can feel the thickness. I'm going to go ahead and take about two and a half pumps of product, and I'm going to put it all on that section right there. I might even break this down even a little bit farther y'all it's a little thick right here down honey because i don't like a lot of hair in the spoolies it just takes a little bit longer to dry when it's packed with hair so y'all know me i will break a section down honey here's a little tiny one you probably can't even really tell the difference between them but this is a little tiny guy I'm just gonna go ahead and do what i've been doing definitely prefer to have smaller sections the curls are going to be a lot more defined and um it's not going to take as long to draw <laughs> so i'm all the way up i'm just going to go ahead and pop that down into place just like that i'm going to grab that other one and i'm going to do the exact same thing i'm going to go ahead and take it wrapping the ends around the spoolie popping it on up and then popping it down just like so so we are at the thinner section of my hair so we're just gonna do like two pumps instead of two and a half yeah definitely don't need a lot my edges around the perimeter of my hair is kind of on the thinner side so i don't need a lot of product if i do i can go back and add more if i need to so i'm taking another small spoolie and what i'm gonna do is just stick it straight on out just like so how we've been doing i'm wrapping the spoolie around the end putting my thumb in there i'm just gonna twist up now i do have some pieces that are shorter so they're not gonna fit at first but as i go ahead i'm just gonna wrap those small pieces around and continue to roll up my hair just like that everything's in there i'm gonna flap it on down close it like a little sandwich and there it is super cute <laughs> Hey y'all, so as you guys can see, we are now at the top of my head and they are starting to get a little a little bit loose in the back. This is how they're going to look as they start to fall. Again, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and install all the spoolies then I'll come back and fix them. We're going to throw a cap on immediately so they literally cannot fall anymore and we'll be good to go. But if you keep trying to roll them up, they're just going to keep falling. I don't know how to fix that. The only way I can do it is just wait till I install all of them, put my cap on and go ahead and roll them up and then they won't fall anymore and you guys will see that process too but so far so good the spoolies are looking really good and i want you guys to stick around and wait to see the final results because of my technique that i'm giving you guys the curls are going to last all week long so make sure you stick around to see exactly how i'm getting this done i'm going to go ahead and just knock out the other side really quickly and then i'll be right back hey y'all all right so i'm back and all of my spoolies or aka magic hair rollers are now installed and it is time to apply our little cap that comes with the spoolie now like i said i've had this for years so mine does have like holes in it but try to ignore that friend let me show you guys how to properly put the cap on the spoolie all right y'all my bad i'm back i had to find a different net i wound up just finding some fishnet stockings to use this way nothing's gonna come loose like it literally hey how you guys doing Ugh, it literally cannot come loose now so even if I need to like pull some of them out while some of them are still in here to like make them tight again, I can do so. That's normally what I like to do. I just take a few of them out, wrap them back up, make sure everything is nice and tight. And then once I do that, I'll just take the fishnet and go down and then keep going down, wrapping. And once it's wrapped, I kind of just pop it under the fishnet and keep going down that's why i said wait to the end because they're just going to keep coming loose so i'm literally just wrapping them back up you see how that one's loose i'm going to pop it out 
wrap it up, make it tight, throw it under the fishnet tight, and keep going. And that's how I keep my spoolies tight. This is a tick, a uh, little trick that I like to do. So literally, like right here, it's loose. Pop it out, roll it up till you can't roll anymore. Pop it back in, and then go ahead and pop it under the uh, net. And the net is literally going to force it to stay in place. So everything I'm doing on this side, I'm just popping them under. I know I probably look crazy right now, but you guys, we got to get this hair side again, friend. So any one that I'm doing, I'm literally just popping it under. All right, got another one that pretty much came loose. Wrap it. Push it down and pop it under that net. And I'm making sure that they're tight again. And once I have them under the net, they're tight. They cannot move. They don't move, friend. We good to go. All right, so now I'm just going to take my little fishnets and just wrap it around my head some type of way. I am so excited to see how these turn out. Um, I hope that you guys picked up my techniques along the way, especially at the end when you are securing the net to your head. Once the spoolie is in the net, it can no longer become loose. I know that is a big problem that people have when they're installing their spoolies. They say they keep coming loose. Yes, they're going to because the material is made out of silicone or rubber so it's like a slippery material and it's going to cause the spoolie to come loose and the hair is going to come out but if you follow my technique I promise these will be tight all night long there's no way there's no way these can slip fall or move they're literally going to be tight all the way up to the root just how we did it and we're good to go so I'm really excited to see how these turn out I'm going to go ahead and just allow these to dry overnight another cool thing is because they're silicone and rubber they're actually a little bit more comfortable to sleep on if you know you know Sleeping in any type of hair tool is hard, but spoolies are probably one of the more comfortable hair tools to sleep in because they're a soft, rubbery, silicone, plastic type of material. So you'll be, I'll be fine. I might sit under the hooded dryer as well. It might be a good idea to go ahead and just sit under a hooded dryer on um, high speed, warm or cool air and allow that to go ahead and dry for an hour or so. If you're learning something or if I'm helping you, if I'm educating you, if I'm entertaining you, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. Again, my my name is Aaliyah. I specialize in natural hair care, rod, roller sets, anything you can think of to get you a nice little curl, friend. I got you. All right, y'all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, hey, y'all. So I am back. I was supposed to take them out yesterday, but they weren't dry, y'all. And I had somewhere to go. As you guys can see, the background is completely different. I'm not even home. But I do want to take these out. So this is the best angle that you guys are going to be able to see me in. Well, the good news is that the net stayed on the whole time. These actually were quite comfortable to sleep in, too. Some of them fell a little bit but most of them stayed in place it's super easy to take them out so I'm gonna show you step by step how I like to get it done we're gonna start in the back and work our way to the front let's just start with this one that's kind of just hanging there and we'll take them out so it's literally the opposite as you guys are putting them in so you just want to pop it out just like that and we're going to start to unwind now keep in mind that the um, this little straight part is not going to be seen for the final results or whatever I don't know why that one popped out like that but it's okay I just do a little bit of separating and I'm just going to keep going. So I'm like all the way in the back here. Again, I'm just going to pop it out just like that and unwind, friend, just like that. <laughs> we are doing good. So I'm going to literally, it feels really good and actually is 100% dry now. So we're good to go. All right, so I'm still in the back section. You guys can see some of them kind of came loosey-goosey, but that's okay. Because you're not going to see the straight part. That's the root. You're only going to see the curly part. And then I'm just pushing it and unwinding it where it needs to be I can feel in my hand where it wants to naturally separate so that's what I'm gonna do naturally start to separate them and keep going so continue to work your way just like that you guys can see here's a really pretty one <laughs> All right, so I have most of them taken out in the back, and y'all, this hairstyle is so cute. I love when my hair doesn't even touch my shoulders. Like, that's when you know it's day one hair. It's super curly, it's kinky, I love it. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to pop these out like so, and then I'm gonna take them off just like that and unravel how I've been doing. And I'm just taking my time. I think these are so cute. Look at the little springy, y'all. And again, that's how the whole curl looks. You can kind of see. 
that is how we are looking it goes all the way out but it's super springy do you guys see that that's what spoolies are going to do to your hair they're going to make them very springy springy curls or coils so just where it naturally wants to separate at go ahead and start to pull Okay, so you guys can see how full it's starting to get as I work my way to the top. The curls are looking so good. They're shiny. I think that the product did a wonderful job at adding that shine and that hold. There, It's not a hard hold, but it's definitely, I can feel like a slight cast on there, meaning that my curls are going to last all week long, which is good. So as I continue to work my way to the top, I'm doing the exact same thing, and um, don't don't mind if they come out a little bit like that part is straight but you're i promise you're not going to see it with the end result because your hair is going to be so curly and so springy that you're not going to see any of the straight roots if there are any so continue to work your way up i think that they're a lot easier to take out than to put in all you have to do is just pop them up and unwind them and then find out where they naturally want to separate and just pull them i'm just giving it a nice little fluff i love when my hair is this short y'all my hair usually goes past my bra strap so for it to not even touch my shoulders like that is the uniqueness of natural and black woman's hair i love it okay so you guys can see here's another little curl <laughs> And as I like run my hands through my hair, I don't see any flakes, I don't see any problems, like everything is intact and where it's supposed to be. And it's taking no time at all. I've probably been at this for about like seven minutes now, just unwinding. So it is not taking long to take the spoolies out and they're so cute. So if you guys wanna do this style, I would definitely encourage you to. Just keep in mind you wanna start on pretty dry hair. Only add like a mousse or whatever your favorite styling product is. I like mousses and foams when I'm doing my rod and roller sets. Allow it to fully dry. It was not dry yesterday. I was not even gonna come on here and fake the funk. I'm gonna wait for them to be 100% dry and that way the curls are gonna actually last a long time. If you take your hair out and it's not dry it's just gonna get frizzy and it's not gonna look right throughout the next few days like they're going to start to fall if you guys follow me on like instagram i always up update you guys on my instagram stories on how my hair is holding up throughout the week so make sure you guys are following me at as always aaliyah on instagram and tiktok as well but so far so good y'all what i'm gonna do is go ahead and just take out the other side really quickly off camera and i'll come back when all of them are taken down so you guys can see the final results hey y'all all right so i am back and the other side is fully taken out i did go ahead and give my hair a good shake and as you guys can see this is the final results of me using spoolies i really hope that you guys learned something throughout this video and you're more i don't want to say encouraged or you're more you feel good about going into this hairstyle that you guys are about to try if you are uncomfortable still just go ahead and rewatch the video I slow it down for you guys and yeah y'all these are the final results so let me know what you guys think I think the hairstyle is super shiny it is super cute and I love that it like barely touches my shoulders y'all already know my hair comes all the way down to my chest so for it to just pop and spring back up right to my shoulders, I think that is so cool. It's my favorite thing about natural hair is how diverse we can make our hairstyles. And I also like that this curly hairstyle is going to last me all week long. All I got to do is throw a bonnet on. I probably got to put in some oil on day three or day four to refresh it and that's it. But I have like a good seven day hairstyle. So you guys can see from start to finish, this is how we are looking. Super, super cute. And this is what I call a head full of hair, friend. All right, so if you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe. And if you also like curly hairstyles like this, I would recommend watching this video next. It's another curly hairstyle for you, friend. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. My name is Aaliyah. This is As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Deuces. <laughs>